Virtual reality is beginning to transform the world. It's transforming education, it's transforming travel, it's transforming our understanding and our ability to empathize with others and literally see things through their eyes. During our research measuring the user experience of virtual reality and its effectiveness and the justification for investment, we realized that through the biometric measurement that we were doing that what we were measuring and the way we were being informed wasn't something that was just applicable to humans, that it could have in fact be applied to any mammal, really. Now, that sounds a little weird and what would we do with that? But as pet owners, we realized that this was perhaps a way of seeing what kind of content was enjoyable by domestic pets, in particular cats. At the time, however, the technology really wasn't advanced enough to deliver virtual reality in that smaller form factor. We're looking at things like the size of, and the heat dissipated by processes, the ability for batteries to be small enough and powerful enough, and in particular, the screen technology to be at a certain resolution. If you remember the early days of virtual reality, we had this screen door effect, and that was for us as humans with much lower fidelity eyesight than, than felines. So now that the density, uh, pixel density of displays is small enough, we're actually able to create a virtual reality experience that is usable by cats. Now that the technology is in place and we're able to deliver virtual reality to smaller animals, we knew that we needed to get the content right. Any new medium, any emerging technology is only as good as its content. So we looked and showed a number of stimuli. We looked at different levels of engagement. We looked at different, um, obviously simple things like cats and dogs and mice and, and birds, but other things. What were they doing? How were they interacting? What was the light level? Many, many factors that we could measure and test and inform what really created great content. And while we know what humans require and what great storytelling and immersion looks like to humans, it was very interesting to see how that applied and how that transformed when we're dealing with a very different animal. We're incredibly excited today to be able to publish the results of our pet virtual reality research. So I encourage you to download the white paper to check out all the detail for yourself. We're especially proud to be able to use this research and this content that we've developed to power the world's first virtual reality program for pets, Cat VR. Cat VR is specifically designed for felines. We've been able to modify our biometric technology to measure unique cat interactions. We can look at the movement of whiskers, we can look at the movement of ears. And if you as a if you're a cat owner like myself, you know that sometimes when they're most interested in something is when they're pretending to be not interested at all. But through the movement, the size of their pupils and the movement of their ears, we can start to understand their true underlying intentions. Headsets themselves interact with the microchips in the cats to be able to identify individual users and develop storylines and deliver content designed and tailored specifically for that individual feline. It's designed, of course, to work with any cat breed and work with different size ears, sizes of heads, space between ears and snout size. We've used hard science to validate the strategy behind the pet virtual reality research platform. And we are so excited and proud to be able to see this come to life through our partnership with Zoos Victoria and the release of the first product, Cat VR. We used hard science to validate the strategy behind our pet virtual reality research platform. And we're so excited to see that launch globally and enable better content to be created for all kinds of animals, not just humans. Please download the white paper for all the details co-authored by our Global Director of Emerging Technology, Dave Mika, and our Vice President of Research and Strategy, Dr. Jeremy Pincus. Then, if you're in Australia, I'd really encourage you to pre-order and take a look at the Cat VR product. If you've got pet cats, it is an incredible experience for them and a way of keeping them entertained and giving you some time and importantly, protecting our native wildlife. <laughs>